Some decisions involve uncertainty. For example, when you make a choice to buy something or to do something, the outcome of your choice may be uncertain. There might be several possible outcomes and you might not know which one will actually happen. For example, I might offer you this choice. Take $10 from me or play the following game. We'll roll a die and if we get an even number you get $16, but if we get an odd number you get $6. Would you choose to play this game? Let's write down carefully what your choices are. One would be to take $10 with certainty. The other would be to play, in which case there are two possible outcomes, even or odd, and the corresponding payoffs for you would be 16 and 6. How should you decide whether to play or take the $10? Clearly the probabilities of the two possible outcomes, even and odd, will have a lot to do with your decision. In this case the probabilities are 1 half and 1 half. The list of possible outcomes, together with their probabilities, is called a lottery. So how would you evaluate this lottery and compare it with your other option, which is 10 with certainty? You might say, since we have these probabilities, let's calculate the expected value of this game. That would give us 1 half times 16 plus 1 half times 6, which is 11. We could now compare this to the other option, 10, and conclude that it pays to play the game. So we have one way to make a choice under uncertainty, compare expected values. This method is better than none, but it has some problems. For example, you might argue that the expected value of one extra dollar is not much, and you'd rather not risk getting only six dollars. In other words, even though the expected value is higher for playing, the risk is not worth the expected gain. The problem with using expected value is that you have no way of taking into account the fact that one of your choices may be a riskier, and you may not like that. Using expected utility instead of expected value can incorporate your risk preference into your decision making. In addition to taking into account the value of the various outcomes and their probabilities, we will also take into account how you feel about these outcomes. A utility function describes how you feel about the various outcomes. So instead of evaluating the game by looking at your expected value from playing, you would look at your expected utility from playing. Suppose that your utility of getting $6 is 10, your utility of getting $10 is 15, and your utility of getting $16 is 18. Then your utility from just taking the $10 is 15. Your expected utility from choosing to play is 1 half times 10 plus 1 half times 18, which is 14. So you would choose not to play the game, but take the $10. The reason is that the utility function we defined has risk aversion built into it.